D&Ds and DVD, and it's brought Vecna and a brand new perk, Weave Attunement. But hey, on its own, it's not very good, which is why you haven't been seeing it very much. In this video, I'll show you how to take Weave Attunement and turn it into Value City. Every map, every killer, I mean it's value after value after value. <laughs> I actually feel bad for using it, but I also like winning, so, you know. But for you, if you don't like survivors, or if you don't have any morals, then, uh, hey, just let me show you. With Vecna and Moris. <laughs> But first, let's do a quick build overview to show you how this works. Very, very simple. Weave Attunement, when a survivor depletes an item for the first time, they drop it. If they pick up any item, then they're oblivious for 30 seconds. They don't hear your tear radius. Hey, that's cool, but here's the best part. You see survivor's auras that are within 12 meters of any downed item. The problem is, survivors rarely drop the items on their own, and Weave Attunement only has survivors dropping their items once. And they can just pick it right back up, eat the 30 seconds of Oblivious, and that perk is now dead for the rest of the game. Lucky for us, the newly buffed Bubba has just the perk for us. Franklin's Demise. When you basic attack, I'm sure you heard this being called an M1, but I don't play with the mouse, so it's basic attack, or R2. When you R2 a survivor, they drop any item they are carrying. Why is this good? Because more items on the ground equals more chances to see survivor's auras. But Nickel, what's stopping them from picking the item right back up? Well, nothing. In fact, Franklin's also depletes the items, so some survivors are in a hurry to pick it back up. Which is where Hoarder comes in. From Twins, Hoarder gives us a notification and shows us the location of any survivor who picks up an item or touches a chest. It also lets us know that that survivor is now oblivious because remember the other part of Weave Attunement. It also adds two more chests to each trial, which normally isn't a good thing, but more chests, more items, more chances to see auras. I'm sure you've come across this with Franklin's with the Weave Attunement a few times this past week, but the last perk is what sets my build way above the rest by giving me the element of surprise. Unforeseen, kick a gen and it takes a 32 meter terror radius and gives me the status effect of undetectable, which mutes my terror radius, kind of like oblivious, but undetectable also hides my red stain and makes it so survivors can't read my aura. So here I want to get the chase arms going to lure the others into thinking that they're safe, but no, I'm right behind you! Now let's check out the survivor POV. With all builds, there's counters, and Weave Attunement has a few with Object of Obsession killing this build. Object of obsession. Whenever you see the survivor, they see you. Oh, he whipped. Bro, it's so okay. good. Probably all you want, I can see you. No, I can see you. I can still see you. Joy. We have a tomb that can show up twice for survivors, with one indicating the aura is being shown, and the other representing the oblivious. So if you see one, and you're not oblivious, that means you can see your aura. If you see one and you are oblivious, that means you're just oblivious and you can't see your aura. Alright, so for the last few doubters of this build thinking that 12 meters is too small, so you won't see their aura enough, let me show you one last example. Here, Vecna can see my aura. Just look, it's scattered across the entire map, every single corner. No matter where I go, I'm on death hook. They're by both gates, like, it's so good. And again, you're thinking, Nickel, why don't they just pick it back up? Well, they can't find it, you know? Like, even if it's your own item on the ground, sometimes you get hit and the lag teleports it somewhere else and you just can't find it. All right, think you got it? Good. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go snatch up some items. No. Yes. Yes. We got map pickers and hatch pickers. 
I'm undetectable because of my add-on, the Cloak of Invisibility. Whenever all my spells are on cooldown, I'm undetectable for 10 seconds. So that allowed me to get really close to her. I really thought she was going to double back. That's why I went to the left side of that rock. I don't want to hit her with my skulls. I want to get a basic attack, get that item dropped. Give me that. And awesome, it's near that gen, so that gen should be... Uh, always visible I can't believe that missed her that's what you want to do you want to use the skulls at vaults and then if you think they're gonna drop a pallet get my mage hand ready in case she drops that oh she's just gonna keep going moonwalk to hide the red stain and this should be a mind game got her I'm gonna shoot a spear over here see if I can't find him nice I've got Nice, I hit Felix with it. Get her hook to make my way over there. He does not have an item. He's the only one without one. I'm still going to chase him, get a hit on him, but then I need to move on. And find someone else, because I need to get more items down. Get this for unforeseen. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. Undetectable for 30 seconds. And that's exactly where it is. Oh, another item, thank you. Added to the collection. And now I see now I see someone else. Sheva. Her item is still on the ground. I just saw it across the map, so I'm not gonna get another one dropped there. There's her flashlight. And we have two items on the ground. I'm no longer undetectable. Thought she was gonna go to that pallet, didn't go to the vault. Back around this way. Ooh, hoarder value. That was Felix who just picked up a toolbox and then we see someone else on that gen. Will this reach from there? No. Oblivious for 30 seconds. Unforeseen is now off cooldown, so I can use it again. He got a toolbox from that, uh, so what just happened is I see his aura because he got a toolbox from that chest, the hoarder. He went to that gen, fully depleted it, it dropped, I saw his aura, and then he picked it back up, saw him again with aura, saw him again with hoarders, so it resets the oblivious timer. And kick this for the unforeseen and go find him. I can't believe that didn't hit. He actually killed me. That's the worst thing I could have done. A grab that you don't want to get grabs because then he doesn't drop items. Because then they don't drop items. But they just still refuse to pick this up. I honestly thought I was going to get blast minded again. Another hoarder just went off. Okay, kept going. Get my skulls out. Where did that med kit come from? There's just a random med kit in here. So someone must have picked it up out of a... Uh, I bet it's a half-used brown med kit they got out of one of my chests. And then they uh, they picked it up out of a chest over here when I was uh, behind the main building. Someone was close. This gen has a lot of progress. Ooh, I got someone with it. Get him picked up and get another hook going. We're doing pretty good. Four hooks for one gen. Oh my god, I got power struggled. Three hooks for four for one gen. Three hooks for two gens. There's just no mind game. I'm sorry, Cage. It's just so dirty. And take note, they're healing at gens. Wow, that went from doing good to not very good. All of them go to heal a gens. Okay, good to know. Got them all dispelled. Um, I know Felix has an item, so I'm going to go for him. Mage hand that. 
He does. I see it now. Toolbox. That was the hoarder value. I knew he had an item. Because he, he didn't come in with an item. But again, the hoarder, so I knew he had one. Oh, double duck. I really thought that was good because of the undetectable. You did that last time, Cage. Yeah, that's, you know, that's an illusion. Ugh. Again, they're healing at the gen. Dispel, I should hit one of them. And there's another... Shoot my skulls again? No, I really thought I was going to get her. No, I see you. There's just no mind game when I can see you. Oh, Shiver that picked that up. I'm going to get Unforeseen. And here we go. The heal at Jens. I know that. She's running that way. I see her. Confirmed. Cage is going right there. Just leading me right to him. Don't ever let him see me. That is one of the sickest plays you'll ever see. One of the sickest plays you'll ever see. Triple hit. Look at the scoring event. It's still going. And then I just see them when they're running away. So we're back into it. We got, what, uh, five hooks for four gens. We're fine. Since he's right here, I know where he is. I'm going to down him. I'm going to fake this vault, moonwalk, and then swing through the window. Perfect. I knew he was going to be close to the window because every single time in chase, he's vaulted back into me. Get her hooked. Still no one's moriable. Seven hooks, four gens. Done. I got three people and hooks are down. No. Oh my god, I can mori him. First kill. Oh man. That's disappointing. There we go. At least I get to see the ending. The only thing that... Never mind. No. Yes. No. Hopefully we'll get a better view at it. That was the other un... un that was the other unhook. I should see their aura soon. I'm assuming they're gonna go past the item. No. She just got off hook, so I'm not gonna chase her. And I'm pretty sure Sheva has an item. I can't tell. It's so hard to see if she if she's holding something with those gauntlets on. Sable just saw uh, hit my mimic. Run her right back into me. So what I should have done is use Mage Hand either to pick that pallet up or block that one. So I would become undetectable. So there's no mind game at the shack. So because of the red stain, to hide the red stain, but it didn't matter either way. Didn't matter. Are you moriable? No. Not yet. And, and this is what the map's looking like right now. Vault? Yeah, that's when you want to use that. You can't duck when you're in animation. You can't duck when you're in the vault animation. Mage hand this. So people are probably thinking, oh, he's bad. He's running into nothing. Well, I don't have a red stain because I was undetectable there. So he had to look behind him to see exactly where I was. And that is what threw him off. Undetectable is so good. It's so much better than Oblivious. Get this second Mori. Hopefully it's a better view. No. Yes. No, it's not a better view. Oh, yeah, it is at the end. That's so brutal. I love it. One of the best Moris in the game. And again, like I said earlier, right there, that chest right in front of me, that is where that half-used brown med kit came from. That is right there. Imagine getting mind game when I can see their aura. Man. Watch this, though. I'm going to act like I'm going to go around, stand here for half a second, and get going. Yeah. It works every time. And you'll see that in almost all my videos. It's my favorite mind game of Shaq. It, it didn't even matter that I saw her aura. That was just a bonus. And since I have no fear of losing her because of all the items, I'm going to shoot a spear, try and find Sheva. And there she is. I can look away. It doesn't matter. Mage hand this. You're not stunning me twice with it. Get this picked up. You don't make that dead hard. Move, move, move. Nice. I got just enough to block the pallet. 
And I will definitely recover my artifact. Yes. No slugging, because I know exactly where she is. Get that super quick kill. Now I need to now I need to finish her so I can get the trophy. Shaq. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Okay. I need to shoot these to slow her down to force her to duck. It was duck or be hit. Very nice. And oh my god, it's on the other side. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No life, right? Nice. We won. We did it. And there's only one hook stage left, which means she's moreable. Let's go. Perfect. All right. Well, that pretty much do it. I hope you enjoyed the vid. I'm Nicola Knight. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time. See ya. Corporate greed. Every day.